Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about what you need to do to push an image into Docker Hub. The assumption here is you you have an account with Docker Hub and you have an application that you want to push into Docker Hub. The steps we're going to take is this. We're going to convert your application into a Docker image. And then we will push that image into Docker Hub. Now, you're expected to have an account with Docker Hub. So I have an account, and I'm going to hub.docker.com, this site here. And I'll sign in. These are the repositories I have. First thing, if you don't have a repository, you need to create a repository. And what is a repository? It is a place where you would put an application which potentially would have different versions in the future. So I already have a repository here that I called Tune. And always your username precedes the name of your repository. In today's demonstration, I shall push an ASP.NET Core application that I have pre-built. And that ASP.NET Core application produces this output. Basically, it displays the names of different cartoon characters and their pictures beside the name. I have the code in Visual Studio Code here. If you're interested to see how that application is built, essentially there is a service out there that it's going against and this service we can go to it and see the output coming from there. So I can go into here, send this out to API Cartoon, and it's taking this data and using it to generate the output. Going back to the code, it goes to this endpoint, and using the, the HTTP client class, it deserializes the data coming from the API into an array of tune characters. And the tune characters is based on this class, which just captures the name and the picture URL. And once I've produced an array of tune characters, I send that to the view and I display it. So this is a very simple application. Let me close it and focus more on what needs to be done in order to generate an image from that. So I have here a file called dockerfile.linux. I'm going to use a Linux base container that I'm going to build a layer on top of. So we need to talk about what are layers. The whole Docker concept is built on top of what we call layers. So at the moment, I have an image. This image itself is built on a bunch of layers, something like that. I'm going to add on top of this layer my own layer. And what's going to be in this layer? It's going to be basically my app. And what is my app? Essentially, I have this folder here that is the published version of my application. I'm going to copy that 
into the container into the a directory called app and that I will set as my working directory I'm going to expose port 80 in the container and my entry point is .NET tune client which is essentially will run my application this is the code I need to create an image to create an image I go into a command prompt in the root of my web project and I run the following commands. These are all the commands that we will be going through today. This assumes that the username on Docker Hub is Snoopy. Each one has their own username. So let me assume that I want to create an image that I shall call Tune, and let's say I want to call it 4870. That would be the tag or the version. And it's going to be built from that dockerfile.linux, which is what I showed you earlier over here. This is the file that's going to be the main instruction file for the building of that image. Remember that there is a dot at the very end here. And this means build an image and this is the name of your app. This is a version and we're going to be using file dockerfile.linux and the dot means that this the current directory is the context. Let us run this command in the root folder of our application. If you now check the images that we have, you will see that indeed it has created for us this image, Tune is the name of the repository and 4870 is the tag. <coughs> if I want to run this, I would have to run it as follows. Let me run it and make sure that it's working locally on my machine. So now my image has been turned into a container so let me see what containers I've got and sure enough my container is running let me check and see if I can access the web page in that container and according to the command that I executed here I'm exposing port 80 in the container to 8888 outside the container. So I should be able to go to localhost 8888. Change this. And I should be able to see that application. And sure enough, it is running. So my container is working. Let me stop this container. I don't need it anymore. So I can go docker, remove, and I'll put a minus F to force it. And I'll put the first three characters of the container ID here. It should suffice. 69B. It should stop it. The next step is to log in into Docker Hub. You would have created an account by now. So you can log in. So in my case, I'm going to log in with my handle at Docker Hub. It's asking me for my password. So I enter my password, and if I get a login succeeded, it means it's happy. So the next step is we need to tag our 
image so that it's ready to be pushed into Docker Hub. And the tag that I have for my image is tune 4870. And my username is not Snoopy, it is this. And the tag is still 4870. So this is the command. I want to tag the image that I have, which is this, so that it has this tag, which is the tag that you need in order to push it into the repository. It needs to know your user, and it needs to know the repository it's going to enter into. So depending upon what the repository name you created is, that determines what you put here. So let me tag this by executing this command here. Now, if I go docker images, you will see now that I have this in addition to what I had before. And notice that the image IDs are the same because it just tagged my previous image with another name. But fundamentally, it's the same image. Let's go to the next step. The next step is we can push this image to Docker Hub. So I'm going to take this one, copy it down here, and I'm really ready to push. Copy this, come down here, and push. You will see that in many cases it says layer already exists because it found that in my repository some of these layers are already there. But the layer at the very bottom, which is the layer I created, that is new. Now, if I go to Docker Hub and go to my Tune repository, and I look at tags, this is the image that I just pushed into Docker Hub. So let's look at what we can do now. We can essentially pull this image and use it. So I'm going to come here and delete all these images that I have on my machine because I want to bring in a fresh version of that image from the hub. It's as if I changed computers. So if I go Docker images, I have these two images that have the same image ID. I want to delete them now. So I can go docker rmi and minus f for force. And I can put the first three characters of those two images, which is basically the same ID. Hit enter, and it should be deleting it. Now, if I go and look at the images that I've got, I don't have those images. Now, let me pull those images from Docker Hub and use them. So if I go back to Docker Hub and I go to my repo info, it gives me the command that I need in order to pull those images. So I'm going to come down here in my command prompt And I want to bring in a specific image. And that is 4870. If I don't specify a specific tag or a specific version, it will get the latest. But I want this version. And notice many of these layers, it says it already exists. Because those layers exist from my base image which sits on my machine. So this was pretty fast. It just got this last layer that I changed. Let's go 
and run this. So in my specific case, this is what I want to run. By the way, this step wasn't really necessary because if I executed this command, if it doesn't find the image locally, it will bring it down. So you don't really need it in two steps. And this one, if it finds it locally, it will just use it. So I'm going to execute this. And it's going to run for me the image by creating an instance of that image, which we call a container. So let us go into localhost 8888 and see if this is working. And sure enough, it is. So we were able to create an image from our application, push it into Docker Hub, bring it down, and run it. Thank you for coming this far in the video, and I'll see you at another occasion. Goodbye.